Girls, we are under attack. Am I the only one who's ever been insanely jealous or envious of another woman before? Like, I don't mean, those are nice heels. I wish my bunions fit into those. No, girls aren't always made of sugar and spice and everything nice. Girls are fierce competitors. We just compete over different things. Danielle, I'm a good Christian woman. I'm not in any conflict with another woman. If you're a good girl, like me, then most of the time, your battles with others go no further than your brain. Let me ask you this. Is your heart at peace with others? Do you have conversations in your head with her at night or annoyed a tinge when she walks by? Do you ever roll your eyes at her social media post? Whether you think you're judging another woman or not, I want to let you in on a little secret. You are. She's gross, dumb, clumsy, unattractive, can't get it together, we'll never get it right. The story we tell ourselves about others may just be a big, fat, cellulite-ridden lie. For too long, we've made each other the enemy. There's never a winner in these contests. And girls, I feel like this has become my mission to say it loud and clear to the women of the church. Same team, same team. You're on the same team. She is not the enemy. He is the enemy. I'm going to be straight with you. Sometimes your biggest enemy is yourself. Are you secure enough in your identity in Christ that you're able to be thankful for what he is doing in her life and her life? We are going to tear down some walls and let Jesus construct confidence from your core so that you are free to build others up as well. This week, you're going to hear the gospel truth about you. You'll be freed up to count your own blessings instead of being caught up counting hers. You'll find out how truly adored, important, beautiful, and valuable you really are. You're going to learn how an attitude of gratitude can change everything. And you're going to see how when we do the right things, eventually the right feelings will follow. This week, I'm going to challenge you out of your comfort zone. Being comfortable gets boring anyway. Our words have the power of life and death. My unforgiveness touched and tainted every area of my life. Who do you have unfinished business with? And who needs to hear the words, I'm sorry, from you? Ladies, we are never more like Christ than when we are loving people who can't, won't, or don't love us in return. We are on display for all to see. Let's make them wonder. Snowflakes are one of nature's most fragile things, but just look what they can do when they stick together. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start now. How about we show him that we are united, that we are getting along. You wanna mess with our girl? Come through us first. Good luck. I can't wait for you all to go on this get along journey with me and become an avalanche of love for this world. Get ready to grow girls and get ready to win together. Let's start now.